We live in an age now where there shouldn't really be difficulties for anyone to find a toilet, get on a train, to use an automatic hand sanitizer. Well, Dan, exactly on those lines, our next guest is actor and writer David Proud. David is featured in shows such as EastEnders, Secret Diary of a Call Girl, and most recently, ITV's Marcella. As well as a writer for Coronation Street, he's also the face of the IET's assistive technology series on YouTube. Hi, David. It's really great that you can join us. <laughs> You've become well known not only for acting, but also for highlighting the difficulties of design and engineering in your day to day life that stop you enjoying things that many others take for granted. Yeah, yeah. It, it's for me, there's I, I was a little bit closed off to um, to new design and new technology. And I was in the same old wheelchair that I'd had for, for years and stuck in my ways. And um, I suddenly then started to see things that could be incrementally better well, you know different things in your life that you think actually you can make it a little bit better so um and then I became a real geek about it and then it's um then it's obsessing about it then it's like looking at all the latest technology and all the gadgets and all the gizmos and now I drive my wife crazy uh, going oh look they've just released this thing and and she's like okay not another gadget but um it's just um I think for disability uh, technology can bridge that gap between accessibility and 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 allow you to to really um, experience as much of the world as physically possible. Well, you're in good company here, David, with um, your love of gadgets for sure. <laughs> um, David, we can see there are some amazing technologies that are available, and I often have conversations uh, with this my elder brother because he's also in an electric wheelchair. So, what are the things that still uh, really make everyday life more difficult for you? Well, there's this thing called the social model of disability, which is really complicated, but it's a way of uh, looking at disability that isn't about medical. It's about the environment around you. So it's like the matrix. If you drop me in a world where there's ramps and lifts everywhere, my disability actually kind of the impairment has less of an impact. So um, I still live <laughs> in quite an inaccessible world. And what I do um, I need the technology to, to completely bridge that gap. So um, it's really trying to encourage lots of companies to go, is there an, uh, a way that we can utilise this to make disabled people's lives better? What are some of the things that you've seen recently that have really got you geeking out about tech? Um, it's everything from connectivity and Bluetooth and wheelchairs to simple things like how a bag can attach to a chair. Um, and there's one at the moment where you can attach it to the back so you don't actually have to have your hands, you know, in any way or hold a bag or anything. So um, sometimes some really small, simple things. Yeah. Um, I've got a cup holder for my wheelchair that attaches to the... And that was a revelation, you know, to be able to actually have a coffee cup and move at the same time because yeah. I wasn't holding it and wheeling with one hand. Mm. So um, it can be really, really advanced, or it could be really simple, and that's the beauty of it, I think. Yeah. Now, I've heard on the grapevine that one of the things you're really excited about, and it's been a lifelong dream, and unfortunately it was cancelled this, uh, this year due to the pandemic, is that you're going to attempt a solo summit of Mount Snowden using the latest tech. Really? Yeah, <laughs> it sounds bonkers. Um, but my wife is really adventurous, and it's kind of heartbreaking that there's times where she goes off for this adventure, um, you know, uh, Peak District and all over, um, and I can't go with her. Um, so the idea is that if we can do Snowden together, but she doesn't have to push me in any way, I can have full independence from, like, from the get-go and get all the way to the summit without even being pushed or assisted in any way. Yeah. Um, it's, it's empowering for me to think that I've achieved it, um, and it would just be a really good statement that, you know, if you can start putting, uh, you know, people in wheelchairs on top of mountains using just tech and tech alone, um, that's kind of amazing. Um, and then we'll just pick a different, bigger one and go and go and do that one after. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, we wish you the best of luck with it as well. And I know our audience will want to follow you on that. And you've given our audience some really great tech challenges to work <laughs> with in the future as yeah. well. It is so brilliant to see you, David. You are always an inspiration. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>
It's worth saying, Bobby, isn't it? It's, it's fundamental to all engineering and all design that the people who are going to use the technology have to be part of the process. Mm, absolutely. And again, I, for one, am sort of looking forward to seeing you, David, plant a flag on top of Snowden. And we're going to try and master its true Welsh name. Er with va. By then. Say it again. Er with va. Pretty good. Mm.